Yo, what's good NFL fans? Welcome back to Touchdown Kingdom, the hub of all the latest NFL news and content. Thank you guys so much for all the latest love on this channel. I've been having so much fun creating these weekly NFL prediction videos. If you guys are not subscribed to the channel, make sure you do so because I have a lot of new NFL content to be coming on this channel. I'm super excited to bring you guys this week's episode because we got three special games on Thanksgiving. This is always my favorite time to watch football is on Thursday, Thanksgiving. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Make sure you smash that like button if you enjoy. And with that being said, let's jump right into my week 12 NFL predictions. The first game that kicks off on Thanksgiving is the Houston Texans headed to Detroit to face the Lions. The Lions always play every single year on Thanksgiving. It is basically a tradition. I think this is going to be a pretty fun game. I feel like the Detroit Lions, whether they're really good or really bad, they always play well on Thanksgiving. The Houston Texans, they're coming off a really good performance, defeating the New England Patriots as Deshaun Watson is becoming more developed as one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL. The Detroit Lions, they are coming off a really poor performance last week and will try to get back on track on primetime football. I see the Houston Texans coming out on top in this one with Deshaun Watson lighting it up with a final score of 34 to 27. The next game on Thanksgiving is the Washington football team headed to Dallas to face the Cowboys. The Cowboys, just like the Lions, are always traditionally playing on Thanksgiving. Unfortunately for Dallas, they do not have their starting quarterback Dak Prescott as we know after he suffered a gruesome injury at the beginning of the season. This is going to be a very good NFC East matchup just because this division is wide open. And yes, I know this division is not good on paper, but I do feel like this will be a competitive and entertaining game. I have the Cowboys defending home turf on Thanksgiving and defeating the Washington football team 24 to 21. Baltimore Ravens head to Pittsburgh to face the Steelers. This is an AFC North matchup. As we all know, the Pittsburgh Steelers are in first place of the division by a long slide as they have not lost yet. The Pittsburgh Steelers are 10-0 for the first time in franchise history as the Baltimore Ravens Lamar Jackson, their offense is kind of staling out. So this is going to be a huge test for Lamar Jackson. Can he get back to his MVP ways last year against the best defense in the league in Pittsburgh? I see the Steelers winning this game, but it will be a close one that goes down to the wire, 28-24. The Los Angeles Chargers are headed to Buffalo to face the Bills. The Chargers are coming off a dominant performance against the New York Jets as Justin Herbert just is lighting up the NFL. He's on pace to have the best rookie performance by any quarterback in NFL history. So the Buffalo Bills defense needs to be on their A game against the rookie because he is red hot. I actually think the Los Angeles Chargers have a chance to be competitive in this game, but I'm going to give the edge to the Buffalo Bills as they are the better team as I have the Bills winning 31-28. Next up, we got an AFC South matchup between the Tennessee Titans and the Indianapolis Colts. Both teams are sitting 7-3 in their division, and this is going to be a huge game for each team as they are trying to win the AFC South. Last time these two met up, Indianapolis Colts defeated them 34-17 in blowout fashion. I don't think the Tennessee Titans are going to let that slide, and I have the Tennessee Titans defeating the Colts in this matchup 31-27. The Carolina Panthers are headed to Minnesota to face the Vikings. Teddy Bridgewater looks like he's on track to play this week as he missed last week, and that will be a huge boost to the Carolina Panthers offense. Unfortunately for the Panthers, it looks like Christian McCaffrey is still dealing with an injury and he will be out this game, but Mike Davis is filling in the role for Christian McCaffrey in a huge way. On the Minnesota Vikings side of things, running back Dalvin Cook is looking like an MVP, and I think he's going to have a really good performance. I have the Vikings winning this game 27-24. The Cleveland Browns are headed to Jacksonville to face the Jaguars. I think that the Jaguars have been extremely competitive with Jake Lutton under center, but he has not looked like the guy for the Jaguars for the future. I do not think this is going to be a close game, and I think the Cleveland Browns and Baker Mayfield will light it up against this Jacksonville defense with a final score of 34-17. to The New York Giants are headed to Cincinnati to face the Bengals. Unfortunately for Bengals fans, their first overall pick, Joe Burrow, has suffered a torn ACL, torn MCL, and more structural damage to his knee, and he is out for the remainder of the season. That is a huge blow. Even if you're an NFL fan, Joe Burrow will look like one hell of a quarterback. 
Hopefully he can get healthy in time for 2021 as Brandon Allen will start over Ryan Finley against the Giants to back up Joe Burrow. I do think that the Giants will win this game as they have been looking good under Joe Judge as of recently and I have the final score of 24 to 17. The Arizona Cardinals are headed to Foxborough to face the Patriots. I think this is going to be a very entertaining game with both quarterbacks Kyler Murray and Cam Newton. I do not think that the Patriots have any chance of making the playoffs after the loss last week to the Texans and I do think the Cardinals will come out with vengeance and defeat the Patriots in this game 31 to 24. The Miami Dolphins are headed to MetLife Stadium to face the New York Jets. As of right now, it is uncertain who will start at quarterback, but let's just say Joe Flacco will because Sam Darnold is still dealing with a shoulder injury. The Jets are arguably one of the worst teams in NFL history, so there's not really much I could say about this game other than the Miami Dolphins defeating the Jets 31-21. The Las Vegas Raiders are headed to Atlanta to face the Falcons. The Raiders looked impressive on Sunday Night Football against the Kansas City Chiefs, and I think they're going to come back with vengeance with John Gruden leading the way and defeating the Atlanta Falcons in this game, 31-26. The New Orleans Saints are headed to Denver to face the Broncos. Last week, Tatum Hill was the starter for the Saints and he looked really dynamic and it is a fun quarterback to watch. He is a dual threat, he can run the ball, he can throw the ball, and he just looks like an absolute monster out there. It's going to be a fun game to watch as the Broncos did defeat the Miami Dolphins last week surprisingly, so maybe this could be competitive, but I have the Saints winning this game 27-21. The San Francisco 49ers are headed to Los Angeles to face the Rams. The Rams defense has all of a sudden become one of the best passing defenders in the NFL. Jalen Ramsey is proving to be one of the best cornerbacks in the NFL with Aaron Donald dominating the interior defensive line. I think that the Rams are one of the best teams in this division and yes I know this is a stacked division. I think the Rams are going to come out on top with a victory in this game 34-21. The Kansas City Chiefs are headed to Tampa Bay to face the Buccaneers. Tom Brady faces Patrick Mahomes. I think this is much watched television as we get to see one of the greatest quarterbacks in the history of the NFL in Tom Brady, if not the best, going up against someone that could arguably come for his throne eventually down his career in Patrick Mahomes. I think this is going to be one of the best games of the week and I have the Kansas City Chiefs coming out on top in this game as the Buccaneers did look outmatched last week on Monday Night Football and I have the Chiefs defeating the Buccaneers 31 to 27. Sunday Night Football is a classic matchup between the Chicago Bears and the Green Bay Packers. I think this is going to be an entertaining game on Sunday Night Football as they always have good matchups. It's a divisional game, and I think that the Green Bay Packers will come out on top with Aaron Rodgers lighting it up, 31-24. Monday Night Football kicks off with the Seattle Seahawks headed to Philadelphia to face the Eagles. Unfortunately for Eagles fans, Carson Wentz looks lost out there, and he looks like he's regressing as a quarterback. It's unfortunate for Eagles because I was a big fan of Carson Wentz, and I still think he has hope to turn it around, but in this game, I gotta give the edge to Seattle Seahawks and Russell Wilson with a final score of 38-24. to That does it for my Week 12 NFL predictions. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you are new. I thank you guys so much for staying tuned for my weekly NFL predictions. Stay tuned for more NFL content on this channel. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. Happy Thanksgiving. Peace out, guys.